theprophetshow.com. My name is Wayne Sutton, your prophetic counselor. Be sure, be sure to subscribe to us, theprophetshow.com. Be sure to share this with other people. Let them know that we're here ministering for you in the realm of the prophetic. And one of the things that I've, I've talked over the last few days about fanning into flame, the gift that was within you, we talked about grabbing a hold of the prophetic vision. One of the things that the prophet show is to grab a hold of you and say, listen to what God is saying. And I want to awaken the potential that's within you because God has called you into greatness. I want to talk today, really, when we look at the, what's going on in the world today with the political realm, the political realm, the scandals, the, the sex scandals, all of the things that are happening in the politics. And we say, well, what, where is God in this? Because here's, I want you to grab a hold of this. I want you to grab a of this. You need to seek God for yourself on the matter before you seek the television, Facebook, news, before you go into that realm and form an opinion of how God would respond or what God thinks. Can you, can you separate yourself and go to the Father yourself? Go to the Father yourself. Over the last few years, God spoke to me he spoke to me about Obama when Obama was in, in office, when Obama won his second term. He spoke to me about that. He shared with me some re the reason he did this, reason that Obama came in. Now, whether you loved Obama, hate Obama, love Trump, hate Trump, I'm not here to get a political uh, discussion going. What I'm here to say is I had to separate myself, though, from the news. I had to separate myself even from family members that had political uh, political beliefs that were very strong. I had to separate myself long enough to go in and say, Father God, what is your heart on this matter? And I want to give this to you as well. There's not a man or woman in any office that has everything perfected. You're not going to have it perfected. You wouldn't if you were in office. And the same people to say, well, I want a Christian leader. Listen to me. We need Christian leaders. I agree. But even the Christians are up at arms. Even the Christians today, if you go on any kind of social media and post anything, post your Christian belief and watch and see what happens. Post your belief that you truly believe was inspired by the Holy Ghost and watch what happens. People will tear you apart. People will love that argument. So my, my call to you, my decree over you is a heart to hear the voice of the Lord. A heart to hear the voice of the Lord. A heart to hear the voice of the Lord before we hear the voice of others. That's what it's going to take in the world today. Why are we seeing the sex uh, scandals and all the accusations? And number one, God is revealing. God is revealing a corrupt system. God is revealing a corrupt system. He's also revealing a system that for too many years, people have said, well, I'm at this level. I don't have to play by the rules. And understand that they set rules. We set as a nation rules for uh, sexual discrimination. We set rules in this area. We set rules in the political realm uh, as well. And then when people break the rules consistently, see, uh, we talked earlier about your conscience being seared. They don't even know what they're doing is wrong because the conscience is seared. God's going to begin to bring out more and more. It's not so that only that person can fall, but so those who haven't, listen, there's some that haven't repented and say, look, I'm sorry. Can you say that? Lord, I have messed up in the past. I have messed up. Will you forgive me? And will you not be so quick to judge others. When we judge others, we're opening up the door to be judged ourselves. Amen. Now, the Bible says also to, that we need to rightfully judge. It says, judge not, lest thou be judged. But it also says in one point that we need to rightfully judge. So there's wisdom. You can look at the fruit. You can look at how you participate with this person. But listen, that every splinter, every splinter you pull out, look at the log in your own eyes. My point is, God judge me. God forgive me. God redeem me. Can you pray that? Can you pray that over your own life? Can we? Why are things being revealed in this season? Because God has given men time to repent. God has given men and women time to repent. He's also showing that we need, there's a, there's a more than just heaven and hell, more than just saved or not saved, born again or not born again. There's repercussions for everything we do in life. There's repercussions. I had one come to me before, and it was in a great debate. I just, they wanted to debate about abortion. And we, we talked about different ways of abortion in a late term and in a partial birth and and just a horrific that's horrific i don't care who you are that's sin it's terrible um but then we got into areas where like what if the mother's life's at 
risk and what if there was rape and so forth. So it's a big area, but I want to say this. You've got to say, Lord, what is your heart on this? What is your heart on this? Because it's real easy to go, I'm a Christian. I believe that it's always murder. It's real easy to say, I believe a woman has a right to choose. It's easy to jump on the side and try to find you know, things that would defend your point of view. But can you say, Holy Spirit, what is your heart? God, what is your heart on this matter? What is your heart on this matter? But back to my story. So they wanted the debate. And finally, I went back and said, we're talking about this one person and, and how they were they were a teenager and they had sex outside of marriage and, and they gave their whole story of how life was going to go if they didn't have this abortion. I said, but if we can take back and go back to the sin of sex outside of marriage, without that, we weren't talking about rape or an incest here. We're talking about sin. We're talking about consensual sex here with a 17-year-old. If we can say, hey, if the sex outside of marriage never took place, then we would never even have to discuss the abortion and whether it was sin or not. Because there would be no pregnancy. Pregnancy comes from sex, in case you didn't know. Let's get real simple. Pregnancy comes from sex. Sex should be in the compound of a Husband and wife in that in that marriage, a sanctified marriage. When it's outside of that, we open up the realm for sexual disease, uh, pregnancy, which leads to other issues such as abortion. See people, many people with sexual disease um, sadly commit suicide. So we really look at a lot of destruction because they missed the mark in the beginning. Let's keep our heart pure. Listen, I'm not here to say I'm perfect. I'm here to say. I know that I serve the one who is, and he's transforming me, and he's transforming you, if you'll let him, from glory to glory. You'll see more sex um, um, accusations and sexual misconduct accusations from not only the movie stars in, the, in that realm, you're going to see it a lot more in the leadership of politics. Yes, you'll see that. As you watch this, say, Lord, help our nation, help our people. Lord, let there be light. And I believe the Lord has given people time to repent. He wants, he wants purity, not just to say, hey, I didn't do this. But he wants purity so people can live a life of love and respect for one another. Purity prevents the problems. Back to the sex. Without the sex outside of marriage, you don't have sexual diseases being transmitted. You don't have unwanted pregnancies that, that could lead to abortions. Or children that are neglected. It goes back to purity. He does purity not just so he give you a list of rules to see if you'll follow. So he can bring his greatness into your life. And not have it, not have it destroyed, as it says in the book of Proverbs, by our own folly. It says, by our own folly, we go into ruin and then we have anger against the Lord. It's not the Lord's fault. He gave us the instruction manual. He gives us his spirit. Listen, guys, go to theprofitshow.com, theprofitshow.com. Share this. Someone needs to see it. Someone needs to say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Take me into your kingdom and make me the one that I'm to be. Amen. Is that you? God bless you. This is Pastor Wayne. To be able to minister personally with the pastor of this online church by text and phone, that is amazing. Partnership with this ministry is a great idea. If you're tired of feeling stuck in your life, then go ahead and coach with Wayne. Partner with the ministry and watch your life change. I highly recommend becoming a partner with this ministry. Um, you know, the mentorship program is just the best decision you can ever make. So, uh, so yeah, thanks again. Wayne.